Um, this is Roy from Team Rank, and I'm here to watch Ruby Volume 4, Chapter 4, Family. And to recap um, what happened in the Chapter 3, um, we had Blake on a boat with Sun, and they took on um, a Leviathan like Graham that can fly. And also, we have some. Uh, moment with Yang and her father, and with her getting PTSD, I'm pretty sure that's the right word, um, because of uh, Adam, and also she gets a good, good uh, robot arm, but she's not using it yet. She still hasn't gone over the fact she lost her arm. And also, oh yeah, Blake and Sen are heading towards her home in Menager, Menagerie. Pretty sure I said that right too. Um, or I said it wrong anyway. Um, which is kind of I um, uh, I had to look up menagerie on the Ruby Wiki to figure out what it's about. Um, uh, and I did, I was surprised that the place where well I was just surprised at the information I found. And without further ado, let's watch. It's the kid. Uh, yeah, I have some suspicions. That's the the spring maiden, but. The way that this person is dressed it makes me think some. Never mind. Hello, I'm Professor Austin. What? No. Wow, we saw Austin in this chapter already, too. What? Beacon here, because that's Yang right there. Oh, okay. oh, she's gonna relive her moment when she lost it. There's. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Hey, her weapons. There's one arm. Oh, so that's how they got a um, mage. How they're gonna attach the arm? Oh, she's gonna use it. Nope. Oh, who's her father talking with? Oh. It's Professor... Oh, it's those two! I was wondering when we were going to see them. I was wondering what happened to those two. Is it me or does Bartholomew look a little bit taller than he usually does? Oh, that's good. We figured out what happens with Miss Goodwitch. What?
crow wore, wore a skirt? Before? Oh, that's funny. And here's a family dispute. Wow! 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 What the hell is that little blow? What? What? Okay, I guess it's. I can't, don't know how to react to that. They just laughed it off. Really? Ah, really? oh, yeah, just re They bring only disease and famine! And don't even get me started on their tails! Well, at least the Yanks. Um, laughing. Yeah, we got some Ruby and her gang. Crow's been handling them, hasn't he? 
There is no way they could. They met that few Grim without someone helping them in the shadows. Yup, there he is. Okay, that crow's falling now. So maybe his summons doesn't involve turning into a crow. Oh, we got a new setting. Oh, this, at least the this city, I mean town, village didn't get destroyed. Who are we focusing on? Oh, there's Crow again. Oh, he's really looking after them. Red Eye? No, no, there's no way. The only Red Eyes I know. Okay, what I'm gonna say for. Is that, um, Yang's mother that just gave him the thing? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I mean, it really is Yang's mother, because the only red-eyed person I know is Yang's mother. Oh, it is her! Wow! She had what? Salem or Ruby? She know that it lost her own. That's not rhetorical question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you bring up family and carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. Yeah. I saved her. Once. Once. That was your rule, right? You healed mom of the year for two houses. I told you he gave the ball and he did. Oh, okay, they were talking about Salem. Looks like... Oh, they're talking about the relic. Let me call. I'm going to try. Tribes and thieves. I'd lead our people now. And killers. And as leader, I will do everything in my power to ensure our survival. I saw. No, are you? You're, you're from bandits. Well, you've certainly got someone strong on wow, I did not know Crow and Raven's back. They have winter and and summer.
Oh, hey. Yang put it on. Of course they ended like that. <laughs> okay, now that I know they ended it like that. Okay, my thoughts for this chapter. Wow, that was a big revelation to find out. Um, we had some Yang going through her PTSD with the event of her losing her arm to Adam. Um, some words from Port, Bartholomew, and her father to help cheer her up and inspire her to, to get back into action with that l last scene with her father and Yang with a robot arm. They're going to do some training. I'm kind of curious what kind of fighting style her father can do, which is hand-to-hand, -hand, obviously. Also... At least for me and the others then go into the that next village being destroyed. The village is still up. And which is pretty obvious, Crow's looking after Ruby and the others. The most shocking part. We saw Fraven, which I looked up on the wiki that's her name. But Did not know she was. She and Crow were from a. A tribe of bandits. Which is more shocking, which that tribe of bandits attacked Xion Village, which resulted, resulted in Xion Village getting destroyed by the Grim they attracted. Wow, that was a big revelation. Did not know that. At least it's safe to say that Salem doesn't have the artifact that Raven's son taken an interest in. Though, that kid at the start, I'm pretty sure... No, 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 no. I have no idea what that was, but Austin contacted the kid through an, a mirror. Uh, let's go see that part again. I have no idea what that meant. Okay, no, 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 that was like a masculine voice, and the guy was called Oscar, so that's definitely not the Spring Maiden. But I guess there's a point to showing this kid if Ozpin's talking to him. Like, what? Like, what? I have no idea. Anyway, um... Okay, this was really an uh, interesting chapter for... Thing, and the thing was really actually correct in the description of family. And um, without further ado, 